His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, during which His Majesty held talks with the custodian of the Two Holy Mosque, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Upon arrival in the Saudi capital Riyadh, His Majesty the King was received by the custodian of the Two Holy Mosque, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Saudi Crown Prince and Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Migran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Emir of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz Al Saud the Deputy Crown Prince and Second Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King greeted senior Saudi officials, including the Saudi Minister of National Guard, His Royal Highness Prince Mut'ib bin Abdullah, Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Deputy Foreign Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Minister of State and Member of the Saudi Cabinet, Dr. Mus'ad al Iban, and members of Bahrain's Embassy in Riyadh. The Guard of Honor saluted His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met today with the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud at the Al Oja Palace at Dar'iya, in the presence of the Saudi Crown Prince and Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Migran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques for the warm welcome and generous hospitality during his visit, which comes in line with the solid brotherly relations between the two kingdoms and their people. The two sides discussed mutual relations and constant development of joint collaboration on various levels, as the two leaders affirmed the mutual keen interest to consolidate such relations in order to achieve both sides' best interests. His Majesty the King hailed the Bahraini-Saudi relations and the constant efforts to develop them in all fields. During the meeting, the latest Arab and international developments were discussed, including the recent situation in Yemen. After that, His Majesty the King attended a lunch banquet hosted by the custodian of the two holy mosques.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to the kingdom following a visit to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Upon his departure, His Majesty the King was seen off by the Saudi Crown Prince and Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Migran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Emir of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bender bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Ambassador of Bahrain to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and members of Bahrain's embassy in Riyadh. His Majesty the King gave a statement in which he expressed delight upon arrival to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and happiness to meet with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud. His Majesty said this visit reiterates the keenness on deepening the historic ties between the two countries and people bound by family bonds, continuity of communication, embodiment of the mutual wish to develop and consolidate these relations, which became even stronger as time passed. These relations also enhance cooperation and the development of coordination mechanisms in all fields to serve the common interests and fulfill the aspirations of both people for further development and growth. His Majesty said that the meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques is an opportunity to exchange visions and viewpoints on current and latest developments in the region to reach optimum means to confront the many threats facing the countries and boost their security and stability. His Majesty the King held the efforts and initiatives of the custodian of the two holy mosques which made the greatest effect in safeguarding the region from dangers and which reflect the leading role undertaken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia regarding the critical regional situation. Commander of the Royal Guard Staff Colonel Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa patronized today the graduation ceremony of a specialized military course at the Royal Guard in which a number of the Ministry of Interior and National Guard affiliates took part in after which some verses from the Holy Quran were recited. The commander of the Royal Guard College delivered a speech in which he praised the constant development exerted by the BDF towards the Royal Guard. Then he presented a brief on the theoretical and practical aspects of the course. The Royal Guard commander presented certificates to the graduates and awarded the outstanding ones. He congratulated the graduates on the completion of the course, wishing them every success. The Royal Guard Special Force Commander, His Highness Major Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attend today the military naval training for the French Special Forces. The training, which is part of the Special Operation Forces Innovation Network Seminar, Sophines, which was held in France, was also attended by the French Special Forces Commander, in addition to a number of officers at the seminar participants. The attendees praised the segments of the exercise that asserted the importance of constant training of the specialized forces in order to refine personal and technical skills to defend the homeland. For his part, Major, J Major Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad expressed his happiness in attending Sofines with a large number of representatives from friendly countries. Major Sheikh Khaled hailed the new experience he gained regarding the developments and mechanisms in special forces through field workshops and the accompanying exhibition to the seminar. The Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, held today at its headquarters a work meeting with the Coordinating Committee on Integration of Women's Needs in the Development Sector of the Government Action Plan, chaired by the SCW Secretary General Halil Ansari. A number of issues related to the integration of women needs and opportunity equilibration were discussed during the meeting as the SCW Secretary General affirmed the keen interest to follow up with the National Committee's work through providing legislative and organizational frameworks to achieve that goal. 